So you know how to block out your character, but you really wish there was a faster way to draft out a nice design. Not a problem. What you are looking for is called kit bashing. Kit bashing is the daughter of photo bashing, a technique where instead of creating an image from scratch, you combine pieces of different already created pictures to speed up the entire process. Likewise, kit bashing is the same thing, but in 3D instead of 2D. Now you can download a kit, purchase a professional one, or if you really wanted to, make your own. I made the mistake of making my own in high school and while I am very proud of it it took me months and honestly I would never recommend anyone waste their time making their own kit anymore because for eight bucks you could buy this which like for reals eight dollars is how much you make working at McDonald's for one hour and I promise you it would take a lot longer than an hour to make all this from scratch also once you have the kit you can easily pick your favorite parts and bullion them into your own objects to make new parts so just download a professional it'll look amazing and will literally save you thousands of hours my favorite kit bash artist is Oleg, in my opinion. He has the best looking work for the best price, hands down. So if you need the hookup, Oleg's your man. Also, there's a kit bash for literally everything. It's not just sci-fi parts. You can find kits for trees, mountains, streets, high-tech streets, secret labs, supercars, drones, the Middle East, Japan, medieval, fantasy, Egypt, utopia, steampunk, swords, shields, axes, spears, bows and arrows, you name it, there's a kit bash for it. And I guarantee It'll be the best money you have ever spent in your life. This is an excellent way to make breathtaking scenes even if your modeling sucks total ass. Before we start, make sure that each object is separated and has their own origin. If your object is already joined, the fastest way to separate things is to go to edit mode, press A, select all, right click, separate, and buy loose parts. Then right click again, set origin to center of mass. And now we are good to go. For this example, I am just going to use Oleg's hard surface volume 211 and we are going to to upgrade our mid poly weapon into a high poly beast with no regard for poly count. So assuming you've already got the kit, how do you bash? Well it's easy, you're basically going to replace each low poly part with something from the kit. The fastest way to do this is to go to edit, preferences, and make sure that you have the copy attribute add-on enabled. From now on, anytime you want to replace one part with another, click the part you like, shift click the part you don't like, press ctrl c and copy location to move the new part to the old location. You can press ctrl c again and do the same thing for rotation, and if you're really smart you will map copy location and rotation to hotkeys for extra speed that's really all there is to it once you've replaced the part you can delete it or press h to hide it but yeah copy location copy rotation scale it to fit the proportions you want rinse and repeat generally i find it easier to start with round objects first so normally i would immediately replace all of my ugly boring balls with some of oleg's amazing beautiful balls unfortunately we have no balls in this design but we do have cylinders and luckily there are many beautiful cylinders to choose from a cool trick you can do if you want to stack parts on top of each other is to turn snap on, set mode to face, center, and align rotation. And from now on, the part will automatically place itself properly on the surface. One thing to keep in mind is that this is dependent on the origin of the object. So you can see here that it's snapping to the surface based on the middle of the object because that is where the pivot point is. To my knowledge, there is no built-in method to quickly set the pivot point of multiple objects to the bottom. The fastest way that I know how to do it is to go to edit mode and manually move the points until the pivot is at the bottom. It's a pretty ratchet solution, but it fixes the problem quickly. Another trick that's pretty useful when kit bashing is the randomizer. If you put a few objects together and you just need some new ideas, if you select them all, go to object, transform, random transformation, set the maximum limits for location, rotation, and scale. If you go up and down in the seeds, you will get a new random formation of the selected parts. And the final technique that I think you need to know is the link hotkey. Let's say that you have one object that has materials or modifiers that you want to apply to lots of other objects. Well, what you can do is select them all, click the object that has what you want, press Ctrl L and Material. It works the same way for modifiers too. Just Ctrl L, pick modifiers, and you're done. And that concludes the blend of fundamental modeling series. Special thanks to my little bro for taking time out of his day to teach me the kit bashing and array techniques you saw in the last three videos. Really appreciate it, bro. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. Also, I want to give a huge thanks to all the patrons. They're the ones who made this modeling series possible, and they are the driving force behind each episode. I really wouldn't be able to keep doing this if it wasn't for them. So thank you so much for supporting the show. I hope you guys had fun. It was a lot of fun for me to teach. And if I did my job right, hopefully you're a little more comfortable with modeling now. I hope you all stay safe. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you.